morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Friday to you. I pray uh, that this Friday and the culmination of this week has found you cared for, loved on, uh, and used by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is his name. It's Friday, which means I am quite excited about what I hope I'm going to be eating if April says we can go back there. Just went there the other night with some dear friends. I am thinking of the Lavender Bistro. Stay with me. Now, I am on a fast and my fast regimen is basically no beef, no pork, no sugar, no taste, no hope. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm going. So I can only have like quality seafood and I can't even have real seafood. I can't have fish sticks. I can't have catfish. I can't have catfish nuggets. Okay. Can't have crawfish. I, I don't, I can't even have any kind of, um, uh, what do they call it? What do they call shrimp and, 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 and crawfish and crab, uh, whatever those things are. I can't have anything, you know, delicious, but I can't have sea bass. And um, so I'm going to Lavender Bistro if April says we can go. Friends, Lavender Bistro. Okay. It is about an eight ounce sea bass. Okay. It's thick cut. It is stir fried and a walnut crust, okay? Oh boy, it is accompanied with a pineapple chutney. They lay it down over a bed of like five or six green beans and very young ripe broccolini that has been lightly steamed. Of course, you've got the lemon wedge there to just spritz over the whole thing and anoint it all with oil. And it's got a little rich, creamy curry sauce. And so you get to cut every succulent morsel of sea bass, accompany it with that broccolini and dip it in that cream curry sauce. And I'm telling you right now, it'll set you free. Okay? So that's what I'm eating this weekend. What about you? That has nothing to do with anything devotional whatsoever. Just thought I'd celebrate that. Hey, it's been a good week. We're going to be back in Psalm 23 next week, but I thought that we would pray and ask God to be with us as we get into our weekend. Uh, I just want to encourage you um, that God is real. That's what David says the Lord is. That God loves you that God has a wonderful plan for your life, even when it seems like he does not. His word says that he does. And put your hope and faith in him. And God love y'all. Thank God for what he's doing in our community called Hope for Today. Let's pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this day, this Friday that you've given. Thank you for this weekend forthcoming. Jesus, we pray, Lord God, that you would be at the center of our lives. Father God, we pray that you, Lord Jesus, would be the center of our thoughts and our affections. God, we pray in Jesus' name that you would create in us a clean heart, that you would renew within us a right spirit so, God, we may be through and through what you have created for us to be. Help us, God, to be people, Lord Jesus, who, as Psalm 119.40 says, we long for your precepts. We adore your word. God, we tether our hearts to yours, Jesus, by faithfully reading your word, by faithfully, Lord God, coming to you again and again and throughout the day in humble prayer. Lord Jesus, that we, Lord God, through your power and presence, Father, would have love on the inside of us, God, that would pour out to others around us, pour out to our spouses, pour out to our kids, pour out to our grandkids, pour out to our neighbors, pour out to our co-workers. Jesus, we've been sent here, Lord God, to make your name famous. Help us, Jesus, to do that. Be there any needs, God. We pray that you would meet them according to your riches and glory and bless us, God, to be a blessing unto you and unto others around us. For we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen. Have a good weekend, be safe. See you back on Monday. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.